It's gotten out of hand. As firstly today, we check in with Hall Live English's Maury Calliope, recently celebrating her success with a brand new solo concert where we had this brand new design reveal. This illustration coming by way of Nardak and leading to Callie to make this video after the concert. Hey Deadbeats, it's Maury Calliope, what's up? Just so you know, I have just announced that in December, I'll be releasing a full album. Check it out, yo! Okay? And that's it! That was the video, which then led to numerous quote retweets, beginning with innocent ones such as this one saying, I love her. But somewhere along the way, this tweet went to a totally different audience. As we would like to warn viewers ahead of time, these become quite extreme, beginning with, there's no way you can culturally appropriate two things. The cacosity, this is the most racist thing I've seen in months, and I play Destiny 2 with raid speedrunners. This feels racially charged. This has gotta be racist. If you listen to this, you need to be put on a list. We gotta put you on the guillotine. Big day for racist people. We gotta do something about white women bro. As a person of darker skinned inflection, I feel insulted. And me hitting the white woman extinction button. There were hundreds upon hundreds of these quote retweets. Many from an audience that do not seem to be aware of Mori Calliope at all, or maybe VTubers at all. And yet another instance of Twitter sending a tweet to an entirely unknown and very confused audience. That said, the celebrations for Mori Calliope have not stopped with Hall Live Japan's Natsuhiro Matsuri showing off her Shinigami Note collection. This as Kali could also celebrate with this. I did it. I made it to Shibuya. Years ago, my first time in Japan, I looked at those signs and thought, maybe someday, as yes, we have Kali on the billboard here. Later taking to Twitter to thank us and also promote the billboards and also showing off some armpit action. Kelly's also been busy with other streams such as a cat ASMR, as well as appearing in streams of her friend Milky Queen, who had been running a 24-hour subathon. This as she had also taken some pointers from fellow friend in Nijisanji English, Vox Akuma, saying I'll be making the Tempest Boys in Sims 4 at some point too. Gorilla, no shipping antics within the guild though, just my own original character abominations. And of course, this new look for Callie is a big hit, as here we have another interpretation from Ting Ji, and also this update from Akashi Bag. Yutaro also dropped on us this, that being Callie at the beach bar, or more specifically, the dead beach. This all while Callie is very busy also being a dad. As here we have this family piece of mommy, son, and daddy, that also featuring Takanashi Kiara of Hall Live English, who we had spoken of yesterday, having gone on stream last week and saying that due to recent developments, she's getting the feeling that the collab with Pomo Rainpuff of Nijisanji English may never happen happen. In yesterday's episode, we had also pointed out that the Hall Live subreddit has been locking or removing instances where Nijisanji talents have been mentioned, with some then replying it was simply locked because the comments were quote-unquote getting out of hand. But the beauty of the internet is you can see deleted comments on Reddit, such as through a site like Revedit, allowing us to see comments such as this one being removed, saying stop thinking about the companies the talents represent, and just talk about the talents themselves. That would be a way to break down these artificial barriers. We also have more extreme messages here with 17 upvotes on the Hall Live subreddit, calling those that talk about Niji Sanji talents on the subreddit Niji Beggars. But we also have other instances of messages being removed, such as, yeah, that was pretty brutal scuff. Hopefully it doesn't do too much damage to her. She must have nerves of steel to power through it like she did. That being in reference to one of the talents at the top of the topic, Scarlet Yonaguni, recently debuted in Niji Sanji English, and yes, seen here in the original original image. We also had this message removed, still the goaded hollow Niji interaction. That being to Vox Akuma's what? Replying to Axel Sirius of the brand new Tempest branch, who had said, try eating oysters with Vegemite, tell me your opinion. And next up, we also have Hall Live Indonesia's Kobo Kanaru, who has also been sporting some cat ears recently, celebrating her 1 million subscriber milestone. As further down, we have this mod message, reading, this is a post 
celebrating Kobo reaching 1 million subscribers. There is no room for discussion about any other VTuber, whether it be Hall Live affiliated or an other. We should be celebrating Kobo. Stop making this thread about anyone else. This again coming from a Hall Live employee and receiving numerous replies after this. Keep up the good work. Those replies coming after these messages were removed. And upon some seeing what messages were actually removed, being surprised that they were actually technically on topic, or at least on the topic of replying to this comment that stated Kobo is currently the third fastest VTuber in history to have reached 1 million subs. As other comments would also point out that Galgura had also achieved this metric slightly faster, who can also be seen in this brand new photo of her Nindoroid now shipping out to fans, such as seen here by Corey C, saying finally received my Nindoroid Gura. But of course, also referencing the very fastest to 1 million subscribers on YouTube, that being Salome of Nijisanji. This seems to be a fairly new development on the Hull Live subreddit, as numerous in-passing posts regarding Nijisanji talents and their interactions with Hull Live talents have been posted to the subreddit numerous times in past months. And then now we have this, an 11 second video featuring both Takanashi Kiara and Pomo Rainpuff, posted to the subreddit 10 days ago and then removed. This video actually having been made by Kana Uru, the music video producer for Takanashi Kiara's recent Burb Day 3D Live concert, which even recently also had a director's cut, which was later broken down piece by piece by Kawa Carrot, with Kiara replying, good eye, dude. And not all other VTubers are removed or locked on the Hall Live subreddit, as here we have a more direct instance, as independent VTuber Miori Celesta, of course, recently had an offline collab with Hecos Bells, but it has certainly been a challenge for the Hall Live subreddit, having been accused of over-moderating for months now, and still on a slippery slope of losing comments and activity since its height in October of 2020. Other discussions also came up regarding collabs between Nijisanji English and Hall Live Indonesia, as late last year, both Selen Tatsuki and Koreji Ali were set to collab together. But in November, on stream, Selen did announce, with no reasons given, that that collab had been canceled, saying that she tried and Ali tried, but they had to cancel it. With Selen saying further, she is going to try next year, that of course being this year. So while we await to see if these collabs will ever happen, we can at least see what they're doing individually, as Pomo Rainpuff recently had an orange cat on her mind. And no, we don't mean this orange cat, we mean this one, the lasagna enthusiast Garfield, having recently tweeted out tomorrow, which had truly turned into a prophecy, as Pomo Rainpuff would show evidence of this conversation, saying, I am so sorry, this being between her and a staff member, with the staff member saying, Garfield, what? And Pomo replying, don't worry about it, as Pomo would then receive this message, telling her to attend a stream and saying, please don't miss this one because of Garfield porn this time, okay? 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 So Lintatsuki would go on to give more context, as this was shown and brought up during an Apex stream, as after being tired after all the ridiculous friend requests, Selen, Homu, and Anna Alouette went on to create their own group, that being the Better Hentai Garfield group, with Pomo as evidenced here, saying any hentires in here, asking Selen's ASL, and then stating Garfield nudes for free, click here. This leading to Anna to share some very compromising photos of Garfield, and also finding out that yes, real people are called Garfield, and they too can appear nude on the internet, as Inna would take to Twitter saying, from thick to thin, Selene and Pomo have stuck with me. I can't believe we're going to be ending our careers with Apex, but I don't regret all the blood we shed this stream. Goodbye, everyone. See you on the other side. The other side being at the Garfield Hentai community. And oh, okay, wait a second. We have some breaking news, everybody. This is very important breaking news. This is incredibly important. This is we check in with Raringo, dropping on us this very important evidence. As yes, here we have Nijisanji English's biggest chest sizes, confirming both Alira and Selene share the same size. Scarlet and Nina also shared the same size before Nina then, of course, had her height upgrade, as now her chest equals the very same size of Luka Kaneshi 
Shiro's chest. This was very important information. And also very important is the Crunchyroll Expo, announcing loads of new guests from Hall Live Japan, including Takane Rui, Sakamata Chloe, the elite Sakura Miko, as well as Tokino Sora and Hall Live director A-Chan, who will be joining all of Hall Live English and all of Hall Live Indonesia at the event. We also have news about some of the panels. As we know now, Ina will be joining Kiara, and Ollie will be joining Bay. That being Hollow Council's Heikos Bells, who will be joining Kiara at the Seoul PopCon event as well. This leading to Jazz Jack to bring us this very accurate illustration. And here we have a very big event, as Galgura is teaming up with Amelia Watson. That being Hall Live's number one time traveling detective, recently taking to Twitter to say hi. Kiara replying, point of view, just gave Ame a kiss on the cheek. And Amelia replying with this, wait, you missed a spot. This as the two have also been recently throwing comments like these at each other, with Ame saying, doesn't even come close to how magnificent you are though. And Kiara saying, I don't have a smart reply or anything. I'm just going to cry because you're too sweet. And it doesn't stop there as we also have Hollow Council's series fauna. Seen here in this work from NT Danny, and as we can see, even made Amelia blush, who was then caught in the act, with Fauna replying, can I interest you in, uh, some moss? This now brings us over to Omo Cat, sharing brand new Hollow Council merch, such as this series Fauna-inspired Return to Mother Nature t-shirt. In addition, we also have Project Hope apparel, and this very big edition, with Callie saying, that shirt is gonna be my new PJ. And while we're talking about merch, here we have Irani EO15, sporting a very lovely banner and very lovely profile picture. Having recently shown off this new look of hers, this all coming by way of her recent birthday celebration, with goods not only featured on the official Hall Live store and Geek Jack, but also Tokopedia for Indonesia. And yes, this merch is already selling out, with the Ofi saying shoulder bag is sold out on Hall Live shop. Please go to Geek Jack or Tokopedia if you still want it. Also with Hall Live Indonesia, we have Vestia Zeta, now hitting half a million YouTube subscribers, saying thank you, thank you. Words cannot describe how grateful I am. And also taking interest in Tempest member Axel Serios, replying with good job today. Congrats on your debut, dog boy. Leaving Axel to reply, are you a cat? If so, are you a furry? And also living life on the edge is Magni Desmond, with this Tempest star again showing us his Sonic OC artwork, which is now taken on a life of its own, adorning not only fridges, but also receiving its own fan artwork. With the Magster saying, my Sonic OC has fan art, every Deviant Art kid's dream come true. And then upon seeing this piece, Magni would quote retweet with, okay, Magnation, these Sonic OCs starting to look a little, uh, let's ease on the brakes just a tad, leading to Callie to tell him, you did this to yourself. And the fun is just starting, as here we have Kroneko giving us cuties, as Magni would plead, Magnation, please. I never even mentioned ponies. We'll have more incredible Tempest work to come, as now we move on to V Shoujo. Firstly with Zentrea, whose 3D debut is coming up on July 30th. Firstly seen here, giving us this totally normal high. Yes, yeah, just a totally normal V Shoujo welcome. This while Brig Bragg gave us Zen getting funky on the dance floor, and this potential preview, as Zen's current artist Uni has been experimenting with different hairstyles, leading to Zen to say, yes, I can be your Disney villain. Also very quickly with V Shoujo, we have Vebe, still recovering from COVID-19, but still taking time to send out this cutie. That being Shy Lily, the Orca VTuber, whose own 3D debut will be the day before Zen's this Friday on July 29th. Also calling Vebe a cutie and saying, hope you're feeling better, Vey. That as Lily is showing off the swimwear in this new trailer, a trailer that began with this silhouette. Yes, the very distinctive Shy Lily silhouette. So distinctive and so recognizable. Who could ever forget it? And lastly with Lily, we also have this Orca Pup plushie giveaway. Ending tomorrow on July 27th, as also tomorrow, we turn now to the British Android Rainy. Come to us in VR chat with the Android Takeover. As yes, for the very first time, I will be entering in VR chat with full body tracking as this collab begins at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. And a quick thank you to Erica Tamamo, fully rendering out this race car bedroom, saying 20 hours in Blender and streamed on my Twitch. Frame art is from False's references and even giving us a close shot of this elite gamer rig. And very lastly, feel free to join us this Sunday on our YouTube stream as we are joined by the Hellhound VTuber, Sender. And that is all for this episode. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. 
Send your VTuber news to our Discord. We record live on Twitch, and we'll have more. Things VTubers say for you, soon.